Hey folks, what's there? Welcome back to another Poem Master video, and uh, yeah, since we're doing the, you know, end of the month stuff, right? Uh, we did, what, utility support last time, and we're gonna do, you know, hybrid slash text um, this time, right? Uh, which, by the way, this is like not all text, it's just like hybrid units, although there are a lot of text in here, because <laughs> that's generally what most texts are, right? But obviously there's some trackers that do that here, some supports, right? But yeah, let's uh, let's get into it then. So again, shout outs to uh, uh, Runner Donson and, and Joe for helping out on this, right? And yeah, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about them, I guess. So um, as usual, let's just throw in one in, in, in each tier, right? Just to establish where we're at, sort of. Uh, for top, obviously Kyogre. Right? I mean, it's just it's prop. It's arguably the best unit in the game right now, like by a mile. Uh, yeah. Top tier damage brings rain, buffs your whole team's damage. Right, it helps your whole team survive as well. It just does you know so many things, and it's really good. <laughs> uh, next in the next category, we could put something like a um. Hmm. Let's see, maybe something like a Summer Marnie, right? It could tank, it could attack, really, really good sync nuke, right? Um, absolutely insane for Battle Villa, for one. Uh, you could run her in triple striker team comps, which is great. So yeah, Summer Marnie, pretty good. Uh, moving on to Silk category, uh, maybe something like, hmm, maybe something like a Getsus, I guess. Solid sync nuke, damage is fine. A bit slow, I guess, in teams or team comps. And just the his overall team comps aren't that great, but he's still a solid unit, right? Uh, moving on to something like decent, we could probably put like Crobat in here. Right, very, very good sync nuke. Decent-ish damage for a two gauge move on Venoshock, I guess. Um, constant special defense debuffs on Venoshock. Right, speed is fine too overall for your team. And can poison, badly poison. <laughs> Which, yeah, I almost forgot about that. So, moving on to the, you know, has some uses uh, category, but something like, um, something like Gladian, I guess, right? Like, his damage is not great if you compare it to, like, any other unit uh, when they're hitting for super effective as well, but uh, he does hit everything for super effective. Right, so that's 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 not bad, right? Uh, he's not a very strong unit because his numbers are pretty low, but he's a very useful one. He's a very very useful one, right? especially if you don't have you know, that many uh, units. You could just always throw him in to substitute one type, right? In kind of niche, uh, I guess I could put something like um, a Torkoal, right? Uh, good physical defensive tank can burn the opponent. Has a decent sync nuke, yeah. But outside of that, you know, one gauge spam on Ember, it obviously is not as good as it was before. <laughs> uh, do the you know power creep now, but still fine, fine unit that you could use sometimes. And uh, eh, tier, maybe something like a uh, Age of Slash. I mean, this guy doesn't do anything or do anything well, unfortunately. So it is what it is, I guess. So, continuing from left to right, I guess, we could, uh, in terms of Seaball, we'll probably put him decent. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a Sikar Yax for some reason. Um, but, outside of that, pretty good Sync Nuke. Uh, you can run him with Mei, which is nice to debuff, help debuff, uh, debuff accuracy. Um, not that that's the best team comp, obviously, for Mei, but, you know, he could do that if you want. Skull could do some damage, right? So, there's that. Lysander probably still good i mean it's just damage is not very great unfortunately All right but he could flinch sometimes he could heal up pretty nice just his damage is not good in that same vein steven as well right they're kind of the same unit except one's flying one's steel right and steven has a guaranteed uh crit nuke so there's that moving on we have absol Absol, he does really good damage on a sink, right? He does really good damage on a sink, but outside of that, 
Uh, yeah, not 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 very good. I mean, confusion is just not that great, unfortunately, right? And yeah, I mean, he's really easy to set up. Does a lot of damage on the sink, but like outside of that, he just doesn't really do anything. Uh, Hop and Zamzata, probably in the very good tier, I'd say, right? Um, pretty solid tank, generally. Uh, the buffs are good. Buffs are good. And he does pretty good damage on Behemoth Bash. As well as Sync, if you want to sync with him for some reason. Although, generally you probably don't want to sync with him. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's he's really, really good. Um, all around, right? Uh, Max is obviously up here as well. This guy's insane. Uh, Wallace... Probably decent. I mean, still an okay-ish tank. Oh, there's much, much better tanks now nowadays. Uh, trap is nice. Stall, solid damage on Brine. The sink is, it's a nice sink, right? For mul a multitude of reasons, not only you know it does like okayish damage. Well, not okay, it does pretty solid damage, uh, but also heals you as well, right? Among other things. Uh, Lopany has a speed buff for her whole team, which is great. Does a million damage. Uh, and, and I mean that literally, like a million damage on those high jump kicks. <laughs> as well as having all the other support stuff that, you know, the Lopany has, right? Um, Serena, infinite, you know, sleep chain, AoE sleep chain, obviously. And really, really good damage on overheat, as well as um, her sync nuke as well, right? Like, she has like red levels of damage on top of being able to, like, sleep your opponents. <laughs> Infinitely, right? Uh, Musharna, you know, um, probably the best terrain unit in the game, with only two terrains in the game. <laughs> but yeah, she's just insane, right? Great tank, um, she just does like so many things to help support your team. Uh, her damage is top notch, right? Just very, 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 very good unit. Um, Altaria. Altaria, like, okay, Altaria, like, when you look at Altaria on paper, it seems like, wow, she does a lot of great things, right? A lot, a lot of things that she does, but when you actually use her in battle, like, none of them really matter. Like, evasion debuffs, yeah, she's the only unit in the game that could reliably do it, but, well, first of all, you can't, you know, get minus six on it. Well, you, okay, you can, but you need like, a lot of luck for that. But, and then second of all, it's not that very useful. It's not very useful. Not a lot of multipliers come from... Uh, opponents having minus, you know, evasion. Most multipliers that use it are just general debuff multipliers, right? And then getting rid of, um, you know, the field effects and all that stuff. Yeah, you could do it with the crit shield thing, but it's like you could also just choose some other parameters <laughs> instead <laughs> and not worry about having to like use up a whole slot just to get that extra 150 points in master mode or whatever it is, right? And her damage is not really great, unfortunately. Uh, but she does have coverage, though. She does have two different types of coverage, but they're not, well, not very good damage. Um, Kalem. I don't know. I actually kind of like Kalem. I think he's slightly underrated. All right, very fast, gives your team speed buffs as well. Can confuse, can paralyze. If you have him 3 out of 5, you got a sink nuke, which is actually not bad right i think kalem sync nuke is actually like around like mu levels of sync nuke which is slightly surprising but it is so there's that right uh tokus probably still decent i guess um her sync nuke isn't super easy to set up and uh, it does a lot of damage though it does a lot of damage but it's not like super easy to set up plus it's kind of restrictive and it's kind of random Sometimes you might get the status that you don't want on the opponent, which would, uh, you know, be a bit of a disaster. But outside of that, you know, obviously very good. Um, Maze easily still top tier, right? Um, Rain MP refresh, great tank, um, good for your team speed as well, generally. Um, insane amounts of damage, incredibly powerful sync nuke, right? It's just one of the top tier units. Uh, Clay does one thing, does it very well. <laughs> does it a lot of times on, on its kit and uh that's 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 clay i guess uh pikachu has potions 
But like, yeah, other units have potions too. <laughs> With mass healer and Peter Fresh, right? And Peter's damage is not amazing. Uh, Ho, Ho is still very, very good, right? Um, Ho's damage is incredible, right? Got two types of coverages, has infinite sun, right, on, on every sink, and it's generally a good unit. Mm, Salamence, probably. Did someone just try to enter my room? Salamence, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably up there, right? Just very, very good damage in general, right? I mean, a lot of U Hoenn units get absolutely carried by the Hoenn Master Passives. Like, they, they're just so good after the Hoenn Master Passives now, right? Like, yeah, their damage is, like, through the roof. Um, Gengar, it still sleeps very, very fast, right? Obviously, you're not Serena levels of sleep, but sleep is still... You can still do it, right? Uh, and you can do some damage. I guess ghost type damage. Let's see... Ice Steven, yeah, still infinite hail. Even though, again, hail teams are just generally not that great. They're probably the weakest out of all the terrain and weather that are available to use, right? But, I mean, still okay. Crash Awake is just mediocre at the moment. Uh, Champion Arch is fine, right? Really, really good sync. Um, damage takes a while to set up, but once you do set it up, it's nice, right? The move gauge acceleration for a whole team is great, right? Even though there's only one use, unfortunately. Man, if... Oh, man, if Champion Iris had, like, more uses or more consistent uses of the move gauge acceleration, that'd be great. Caitlyn's decent damage. Can tank, but honestly not that great of a tank. Mimeril is, like, Sydney, but also debuffs defense, but also much less consistent damage-wise, right? Uh, Sings to Leaf, really, really good Sync Nuke, really good damage on Frenzy Plant, has the heals, has a lot of heals, can take a few hits, right? Um, Mew, probably still good, I guess. You got a lot of coverage there, all of them is very good. You got a solid Sync Nuke, can take some hits. Overall, still nice. You got the debuff thing going on if you care about that, which I don't. And then you have Plumeria, her damage is. Oh, Okay, her damage is actually bad. Uh, her Sync Duke is okay. Uh, she's pretty fast. She does have the Poison Flinch right thing going on. Although, honestly, Poison Flinch is not very good. Because <laughs> when you have someone poisoned, you want them to attack. So they could get hit, you know, ticked by the poison. But Flinch prevents them from attacking. <laughs> and then you have um, Woman's Cod over here, which is, you know, obviously still top tier. Uh, gives your team speed, you know. AoE, um, Paralysis, Moonblast hits like a truck, right, and has an incredibly powerful and easy to set up Sync Nuke. And then you have Incineroar, which maxes out your whole team speed, really, really powerful Sync Nuke. And unlike Sydney, actually has damage on its regular moves outside of its Sync. So, uh, and also the nice debuffs, right, defense debuffs and stuff. So, anyways... Uh, that's really this one. I guess I'll be all in general. Guys, think of the comments down below. Like, enjoy this video. Subscribe channel for some more Pokemon's content. Again, this is not a, you know, which you, sh you should summon list. Just, um, you know, it's in terms of, you know, power-wise, right? So, have fun, folks. And I'll see you guys in the next one.